another big edition of Bangy Zulu UK's Big Weather Report action. That's 22 Celsius, about 72, 3, 4, Fahrenheit. Nice out. Isn't it nice that it's nice out, Finnegan? Well, welcome to a big edition of Album Battle, I guess. I don't know what I'll call it, but anyway, let there be rock versus Power Edge. Let's get it going. Can I read my writing? No. That'll help. Okay. Starting out with this album all the way through. Then this album all the way through. Okay. First track. I'm going to rate these out of 10. Every single song out of 10. Then divide it. Get an average out of 10 for both albums. And then end up with a winner. So this starts out with Go Down. I gave this an 8.5. Maybe because the lyrics are a little... Uh, kind of get you red faced I don't know <laughs> but anyway you can tell by the rhythm of the song it's flipping brilliant but uh, so I get that 8.5 I'm going to kind of skip through every song and that way get the series. here's a song way underrated live I saw just got to hear them do this on a radio broadcast CD that I've got and uh, way underrated song I always love this Doggy Dog and uh, Ted Nugent's Doggy Dog is a fantastic song too but And I gave this a 9.0. I almost could give all these 10s, so I tried to be really kind of picky and save the 10s for what I really deserve at 10. Next, this song, I, before I even turned it on, I knew it was going to be a 10 out of 10. Let There Be Rock, title track. This is just too much rock perfection. Like the guitaring at the end is... I don't know. This is like 1977 or whatever it was. Like this is like... To me that's as good a guitaring as Blackmore. Like it's right on that A plus level. Angus way underrated for his soloing. But anyway, next. Bad Boy Boogie. Oops, I should cross these off. Uh, oh, actually, <laughs> I actually gave this a 10 as well. I think this is the song that has the solo on it. It's a one note solo. Yeah, this part, it's just one note, but um, I think it was Santana talked about if you can find the one sweet note, you can ride it and just let it ride. And this song, out of any ACDC song, or maybe any song in rock history, does that. It's like... It's that one perfect note live. It just sounds brilliant. But uh, I had to give that a 10. I actually had it at a 9 or 9.5, and it kept going up till by the time I heard the rest of the song, I just gave it a 10. <laughs> and Problem Child after that. I know there's different versions of this album, out like Australia and Europe and Canada, all kind of different songs but this is what I'm giving you the one from here but uh problem child these I gave I gave this a 10 out of 10 as well I guess because at the end it just it's got the perfect ending for a studio song like Like, there's your one note again, but it's just absolute perfect metal perfection. Then I went to Overdose. This is the one song I remember kind of, maybe the only one I ever skipped when I listened to this back in the day. I was old enough when this came out. It's kind of more of a takes it down a notch like for the intensity it's still flipping classic ACDC though they ride this uh, riff all the way through but it's like the intensity of the other songs a bit better so what did I give this overdose 8.5 then hell ain't a bad place to be I just hate that title because 
This is their Christian rock song. It's talking about hell, so that's out of the Bible. And it is going to be a bad place to be if there is such a thing, so I don't know how they... But I don't know the lyrics to this song. I have never, I'm always a guitar guy, not lyrics, so I don't even know the lyrics to this song. But as far as the music part goes, though, what did I still give it? 8.5 again. Like this, that intro. Fantastic intro. Um, I think he says, hey, you here? So, yeah, hey, you. Okay, and then the last song. I know this is the one I, I played this over and over so much. It was one of those I almost played too much, and then it. Rosie. <laughs> oh, a lot of Rosie! But I. Well, listening to it last night at full blast, that's what I did. I just. No one was home. I had it cranked. No distractions. I just rated all these songs. But this reminded me of why well, I love this song so much. Like. Probably gave it a 10 as well, I don't know. Um, yeah, 10. Oh, because of the Blackmore Territory guitar soloing in here, like the, the soloing here is... It's just unbelievable. So this album anyway, there's the numbers for that album. Now I gotta put in Powerage. Yeah, dead silence. Still like the cover for Let There Be Rock better, even though it's a pretty cool album. I love the colors, yellow and orange and that, but uh, still think Let There Be Rock is just the blue and the, you know, the concert footage with his guitar up like that. And you now every album should have a thing like cover like that. And he's got the rock and roll hair happening back then. <laughs> okay, this asked me a bunch of questions. No, no. Okay, Powerage, first song, first side. I've always had a trouble figuring out which album I like better, so this is going to decide it. Rock and roll damnation. I gave this an 8.5. Now this one was next. I know Down Payment Blues. This one's one of their uh, real, lots of different changes, slow to fast to like a really deep involved song. Like Down Payment Blues. Let's get to the middle here. I gave it a 10. <laughs> but to get through this here, okay. And then this is just this riff is fantastic. Give me a bullet. I gave this a 9.0. The guitar tone on both these albums is perfect. This one, I smiled. The next song. I gave it a 10. Like the second I saw it was coming up, I went, ah, this one. First song on the If You Want Blood, You've Got It. One of the best live albums, if not the best live album in rock history, but Riff Raff. For a studio song, this is like maybe the all time greatest opening way to open a song. <laughs> like it's just worry about the copyright, but the way it just builds up and builds up like. So this was a 10. Get to the middle just to refresh your... Then Sin City. This seems to be some people's favorite ACD song, ACD song of all time. I like it. I give it a 9.0. Still has really good guitaring, like every song by them. Doesn't have the ad adrenaline pushing build up kind of song. It's 
but still really good. <laughs> what next to the moon? This might be the one, so I'm, I'm only guessing an 8.5. What did I put? Yeah, 8.5. Just because the adrenaline and heaviness factor is down in a little notch, but still a good song. Oh, there's one line I liked in here about... Um, Oh, no, it's not this song. But anyway, still give it that rating. Gone Shooting. There's a live version on one of those radio discs I was talking about that's... This song sounds great live. Like, they just sped it up a bit and heavied it up a bit, but... Uh, but this version... Give it an 8.5. They kind of ride with it at the end. It sounds good. Then when I looked at the next two, I was wondering, boy, are these going to be both 10s? And I don't know what I picked here. I'll check, but here we go. Up to my neck and you. Love the lyrics in this song. Let's go! So what did I give this song? Oh, a 9.5. I didn't quite give it a 10. Well, last song here. This one I was pretty sure was going to be a 10 out of 10. And did I rate it a 10? Yep. Kicked in the teeth. That's a total song I can relate to getting put down and criticized this and that you go on and on throughout life getting bad mouth so eh, probably everyone can relate to this song let's get to the meat of the song One of my favorite songs in rock history. <laughs> well, it does it. Uh, so I added them all up. Let There Be Rock had nine songs. Or no, this album had nine. Let There Be Rock had eight. So I had to divide it and figure it out. Let There Be Rock rated a 9.3 average. Powerage averaged a 9.2. So uh, going into it, I was going to say I was going to always like Let There Be Rock just a tiny bit better and I guess I did all that all those years so there we go so guess just thanks for watching and don't forget slow traffic keep left to right right Cody oh I forgot hey kick in the teeth kick in the teeth thanks for listening don't forget slow traffic <laughs> keep left to right right Cody <laughs> <laughs>